everyone, it's Lisa, and it, I'm back again. I'm going to do my um, neutral palettes and show you what, um, out of all the palettes I have, these are the ones I keep um, out, like in a drawer, you know, on my countertop, and these are the ones I use the most. So I was going to go through them real quick and um, show you what I like. And I love these little quads. I need to order some more of these because I love the clear tops. And if any of you have tried those, like, Z-Packs or... I see um, on all cosmetics wholesale, there's some kind of new palette. Let me know if there's anything I need to know about. Um, these are some lusters that I like, and one of my favorite luster of all is this one, and it's um, Sweet Lust, I believe, and it's a pink one. Make sure now that I say that. Yeah, Sweet Lust, and then this one is Honey Lust. So Sweet Lust and Honey Lust. And then this one is Retrospec, almost positive. Yeah, Retrospec. I just dug my fingernail on the other one. So Retrospec, and then this, and then this one right here is um, Grand Entrance. And it's not a luster, but it's frosty like that. This is the Grand Entrance. And this is a good one. If you can find that, that's a good one to have. It reminds me a lot of Stila Kitten. But it's a one good of my one. quads that I use a lot is um, this one, and this is really would make a good eye right here. But um, this is um, Jest, which is a good peachy, just a good color. This looks so pretty over um, groundwork paint pot. And then this is Hoax, which is an awesome crease color. This is soft brown, which is a good blending color. And then this is one of my all-time favorite lid colors. It's Floof, and I have it on today. And you really can't tell by these fingertip because it looks so much different when you put them on a base and put them on your eye. That day, and I told you that I would have to get back with you and show you what everything is. And it's just a good neutral palette. And, um, gosh, I wish I had them written down what they were. Okay, um, I think I can remember mostly. Okay, um, this is vanilla. What is the best way to do this? Um, vanilla, and then this is bisque, which is a really good, just neutral. Um, let's see, I think it's a matte. I don't have it written down, but it's just a good, um, it's a little bit darker than blank type or um, brulee. And then this one is Style Snob, and it's a pretty color. It's um, It was one of the closest ones I could find to Private Beach from MAC. And I believe it's one of those um, Star Flash colors. And then these two are the um, Grain and Era, which I love. This is Grain, and it's a satin. And I recommend everybody, everybody getting this color. It's beautiful. It's just a good all-over color. Then this one below is Patina. Patina is such a good color. Please don't look, overlook Patina. It's this one right here. And I just got it in the past, probably about the past year or something, but it is a beautiful color. It's kind of like, um, I think I heard Pixie Woo or Pixie Two Woo Tanya say it was kind of like woodwinked, but cooler, and it is, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. It's a good, if one of those days that you just want to put something by itself on your lid. Um, this is a color, I think this is a discontinued. No, this is Solar White. I'm not sure if you can get that or not. Just a good, and then this is Shore Leave, which I love. They're just good when you want those kind of um, white colors all over to start with. Kind of like Naked Lunch or something, you know. And speaking of, I think that's what this is. Yeah, this is Naked Lunch. I think everybody probably already has this. Um, it's a frost. I was kind of late getting a lot of the basics because um, for a long time I didn't wear a lot of browns and basics. But um, So now I've really enjoyed having a lot of them. Um, this one is All That Glitters. And I know I just got this last year. So smooth. And it's like a peachy color. All these are good to just kind of start off with. And then this color, what is this? Um, oh, Woodwinked. Woodwinked. That's a real pretty golden. Here, I'll show you the difference between Woodwinked and Patina. Let's see. This is 
This is woodwinked and this is patina. So you can see woodwinked is a little bit more golden and patina is a little bit more cool. And then this one is malt, I believe. No, this is Frisco. And it's a matte, kind of a pinky matte. It's a good blending color, but it's real similar to malt. I don't know if you can get Frisco anymore. This one, I believe, is nylon. Yep, nylon. It's a good inner corner color. It's a very golden color. It's a good highlight, but it's a lot, only if I've used matte everywhere else. And then these two are easy. That's blank type and that's brulee. And these two, a lot of times, are what I start off with um, if I don't use my Smashbox Nude. And my Smashbox Nude is in a separate little thing, and I know you can depot those, but I just haven't ever done it. So here is one of my favorite quads, and I'm sorry I didn't have them labeled. I didn't think about doing that before I did that. Let's see. This is another one, and this one I've kind of experimented with taking the uh, divider out, and I can't I can't decide if I like it or not, but these are a lot of my darker browns. Um, like um, some of my favorites, let's see, are um, brown script. It's a matte squared. It's kind of an orangey um, brown. Looks like it just, ah! So brown script. Um, in here I've got like twinks, satin taupe. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's texture. It's just like saddle, but with some shimmer. Let me show you. And then this is um, this is Rule. It's one of the orangier ones. I need to use this. I really like that. Um, and saddle. Where is saddle? Yeah, there's saddle. So saddle, texture, and Rule. They kind of look good together because they're all in those you know warmer colors. Um, this is a good one. It's the Quarry. This is a good grayish, taupey, purpley kind of color. It's a good crease color. Um, this is a pigment that my friend Catherine um, made for me. It's gold mode. One day I want to press pigments. Um, this is Bold and Brazen. That's a good one. I just love all these. Um, let's see. Twinks. That's like satin taupe with a purpley tone to it. Ah. Um, Foley. Foley is a wonderful color. Wonderful. I need to get, um, there's another color I want to get that's along that same line. Concrete. That's a good gray brown. Um, let's see. Warming trend. That one's okay. It's kind of like uh, patina. Let's see. Time and space. That was from that Neo Sci-Fi collection. And this one, Time and Space, and then I cannot remember the other color, but I, I think it's in my other palette. They look so good together, but I love Time and Space. And it's a frost, but it's a real velvety frost. So that's some of my darker colors. I keep this out, and I've got some paper in it because they come out. And um, this is one of the palettes that um, Elaine sent me. And um, I just kind of started sticking some shadows in here, and I ended up, you know, keeping it out and really liking it. Um, and I've got some good ones in here, like, this is one I use a lot, um, it's Scene. And this is definitely a gray that will take a blue tone, but it's so pretty over, your, if you'll smudge it near your lash line, like over black or um, gray um, shadow. Love this, Idolize, and it is a luster, so it definitely needs something underneath it. Um, this is Omega. This is what I use for my brows if I do fill them in. And everybody's been talking about how good of a crease color it is, and I have yet to try it, but I need to do that. Like Solar White, or even, I would probably use a frosty color all over. Not frosty, but you know what I mean, like a Velux Pearl. Like even Naked Lunch or something like that, and then put this in the crease. That would be so pretty. Um, this is... Oh, yeah, this is Gazette Gray. That is beautiful. I don't know if you can see the sparkles in it. It is a gorgeous gray. It kind of has a green cast to it. Um, this is one of my good old browns. I think I wore this today. Yeah, cork. Just a good... This and wedge. You've got to have cork and wedge. Um, let's see. This is Gleam. I don't know if you can see. Gleam. And I haven't worn this a lot, but I need to. Um, these are some good ones down here. Um, this is Mystery. 
And it's just a good dark brownish, um, like a brownish gray. And then this one is one of my favorites. I hate that I went so long without this, and it's Smut. And this is really the prettiest color. For it to be a dark one, when you put it over your lashes, it has the prettiest, like, I don't know, it's like brown and gray and black and blue. It's like all the colors combined. So pretty. This, I believe, is, I don't have, um, I've got carbon in another tray, and I, but I've never gotten black tide. But this is Mont Black which is like a similar to Black Tide with the sparkles. Let's see, it's a velvet, um, but it's real good for outer corner. Um, this one is um, Corduroy, and Vanessa from Bombshell Sweet got me to get this, and I've loved it. I think I've got this on today, too. Yeah, I do. I have uh, Cork and then Corduroy in the outer crease. To cider, and it came from one of those collections. I'm not even, I can't even remember which one. But it's real. It's a real pretty color if you ever get a chance to get it. Um, this is, let's see, hypnotizing. And this is, is this a, this is a frost. This is a beautiful color. It's like a silvery purple color. This looks really good over, um, or with Private Beach. It looks good over groundwork. This is one of those, um, this came from the All Races, All Genders, All Whatever collection. And this is, um... A matte, and I cannot remember. Oh, it's all races, and it's like a matte light gray. It is a really neat lid color when you're doing anything. It's just a neat, just something different. Um, and then this is a good one. It's Banshee, and it is a luster, but it's a good luster. And this looks really good over girl friendly paint pot if you just want to do one color. Camille, and I got this at the um, CCO, and somebody said it's um, it's from the Naked Honey Collection, because it stands for something honey, I'm sorry, or it means something honey, but I like it. It's a good, um, good yellowy. I've got Rose Blanc and Nylon, but this is kind of like in between those. Um, oh, this is a good one. This is Pin Curl, and I think I was watching um, Natratana, and she had this on, and it is a, the neatest color. It's like an iridescent Let's see, it is a frost, but it has like a duochrome to it. Let me swatch it for you. And it just, I don't know, it takes on, it's really good with blues, or it just looks good with a lot of different one stuff. This is one of my all-time favorites, and I almost didn't get this, and I remember, this is the one where the girl said this was like grain, and era had a baby, and that's true. And it's Modelette, and it is a satin. And it is a beautiful mid-tone brown. And um, it took me a long time to, like, appreciate good browns, but I do. And it's just a good golden mid-tone brown. This is just perfect, almost like soft brown or something if you just want to, if you've got, like, a stark crease color and you want to blend it out. Um, and another one that I should have in here that I don't is Girly. Girly is a good pink to do that with. And these do, they're magnetized, but they do seem to fall out some, so I... Just shut it and hope for the best and put that wax paper in wasn't there. a little bit more organized and didn't have some better swatches for you, but that'll give you an idea of the ones that I use, you know, gosh, almost on a daily basis. And there's a lot more. I have a whole drawer full of shadows, but I just always seem to come back to MAC shadows for some reason. Um, you know, even I've got lots of Chanel shadows, and I love those, but for some reason, I just, maybe when I get more organized... Um, which I plan to do soon. I can uh, use my other ones more. But I hope this helped, and I hope you have a great day, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.